go. Let's see if we can find an opponent right off the bat. Live stream health. I've done a three tests. I've done. I hope it goes uh, that it's working well. Hello, welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily. We got an exciting, uh, really kind of a random live stream. I haven't actually ever done a live stream this late at my time, at least. So I really wanted to try to do one at a different time. Um, yeah, it was an exciting day's worth of Pokemon events uh, here on the screen. I'm playing with a deck that I did really, really well with at Elite Challenge today. Um, it's a very popular deck out there. It's Lost March. Um, I have the card, uh, the deck also right here. I'll show it in person. We'll go ahead and. Start Start with a couple matches i have some booster packs and stuff we can go ahead and open up on the channel as well and i'm just really curious if there's going to be a difference in me uh doing this at nighttime versus when i've been doing this during the morning um that's typically when i've been doing it and i'm just really excited to see who's kind of like on right now and again this is just to try to experiment at a different time of day uh doing this uh, looks like my opponent looks like i have my turn one mulligan but yeah, in, a, in an extreme, like, random uh, side of events, <clears throat> this morning, I kind of found out uh, last minute about a Lee challenge that was going on. Um, so I whipped up together this deck together last night. I looked around online. I had the pieces for it, um, and I decided to try it out, and I somehow ended up getting first. We kicked things off with a victory. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and I somehow ended up getting first place. I Give or take, it wasn't a Lee Cup. It was just a Lee challenge. So these are smaller events, um, but I was still really, really happy with it. So it just kind of gives me something to, like, work on, and I seem to, like, understand how to a pretty good flow with this list it's really similar to the other lists out there minus i actually i put in a couple other pieces that kind of aren't like I, I guess you see them in this list but i kind of changed it up a little bit because i didn't actually have every card with the list i was playing so i switched it up last night kind of last minute and then a lot of those little changes i did um ended up be, having a huge impact today and actually won me it won me more than one of the matches today it won me at least two of the matches with some of those really slight little changes but in case if you are new to this deck um it's just it's a little attacker it's so it's so fantastic i would say this is probably a great deck you could put together on a pretty if you're on a tight budget don't want to have to run Lele's, don't want to have to run zorks um don't want to have to run any gx pokemon i would have to say i'd actually want to really try to uh, budget this deck out um hey i added you on P pokemon tcg online i'll have to go check that i'll have to go check that out hello arm tank 64 welcome to the stream i'm i'd be totally down to play some match against other people it says that two people are watching right now so thank you to those two people um yeah i had a pretty good luck today at a lee challenge with this deck We'll see what it does with, uh, for me online right now. Um, like I said, turn one, uh, turn one, Lily. So, um, yeah, breakdown of this deck. It's a pretty straightforward uh, Lost March deck. Let's go ahead, throw out a Great Ball, see if we can. Uh, nothing ideal, because um, if he, he could easily get knocked out next turn, even from that hop it. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab another. We'll grab a Trumbeak because what I want to do, I want to maximize out that Lily right there. Uh, yeah, we want to maximize that Lily. We'll go ahead and throw another Trumpeak. Slowly start getting our Lost March. Uh, this deck can either kind of start out like really, really fast or it can set up kind of slow. Um, if my opponent has GX Pokemon, then I'm not too worried about any of the guys getting knocked out along the way. Uh, like I said, I got more, I'm going to make this a really, really good turn one Lily. We're going to go ahead, discard, I think, a Skip Plume and the Guzma off the bat, attach an energy here. I know that my be a little risky but it's not in the lost zone yet so i can easily get back that skip plume with um i can easily get that skip plume back with uh rescue stretch and other things this is the first look i get on my deck um let's see what do i want to grab something i can put out throw out more on my bench i think i will actually grab another hop i could grab an orangaroo but since it's my first turn um i'm gonna get to draw draw eight cards with lily so a very very good turn one lily let's go ahead throw lily out here and we get to draw eight cards since it's my first turn a fantastic lily and we have a lot of things a lot of great things that we need right here i'm not really too concerned if this hop up gets knocked out next turn because i'll probably be able to get start evolving some guys next turn uh let's throw out one more trump beak I, I still know what that card is right there it's still actually it's probably this is probably a mirror match um but they might be running a lele so that does put them at a higher risk let's go ahead thin out the deck a little bit more um what do i want to grab netball yeah, let's just keep grabbing some basic Pokemon. Let's grab another uh, Orangaroo would be a great choice. Or, and then I have to put on my bench. So I definitely want to save that. Let's grab a Orangaroo. That's fine by me. I'll grab one more. One more. One more Hoppip, I think. Yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna take one more look in there. So two of them are there, one of them. So I think every single hop up and stuff is in is actually in my deck right now. Usually out of the four chain, if you're running four hop and four uh, skip plume jump left, the probability of at least one of the chains being prized is pretty high. Um, that's pretty that's pretty standard. I had multiple times today when uh, when they were prized. Um, not much else I can do. That was a killer turn one. And we go from there. So already with Lost March is stacked at 60 right now. Um, bas basically 60 for one energy if I can get this going off. Yep, this is a mirror match. So this is the... the um, if my opponent wasn't running a, running a GX Pokemon, I'd be a lot more concerned. Uh, but kind of kind of the downside so if you're running any GX Pokemon with this deck getting the first prize card to ever e even the match I played against one of my really good friends with today I don't know if they're is it a skin plume deck they're on uh, uh, let's see I'm curious I'm very curious Double checking the live stream health. I have another monitor. I've got another laptop, I should say, going on the screen over here. They're gonna march out on me. Of course, they're 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 running the same deck as me. Um, I'd be more concerned if they didn't have a GX Pokemon because they're gonna get this first prize card. Um, so kind of the payout prize cards. If you're doing for if both opponents are running a hop of deck with no GX Pokemon in it, the first person who takes the prize card, they're gonna have a much higher chance of winning the match just because of the math involved there. Um, but since they have a GX Pokemon, even though they're gonna knock out this hop of the first turn, um, if I can come back swing, I don't even have to knock out that that Tapu Lele is gonna be out on that bench now. So I'm gonna be focusing on trying to knock out that Tapu Lele on uh, next turn or even two turns or whatever uh, today's video is up already I'm track dude Just two people are watching right now thank you so we got knocked out not too big of a deal let's see where we're at right now uh, I'm at this is my view down here yeah Yep, I have three three in there. So the bottom bottom one is me. I had three Trump Binks in there, so I'm at 60. It'd be pretty tough to knock out a Hopip. Uh, I'm no to, to knock out uh, to knock out a uh, Tapu Lele. I still kind of want to take my time, but I want to. I would love to be able to grab a Guzma or something, but I might just have to. I might just want to start going for dam damage this turn. So we're gonna go ahead. And let's throw out Hopip. Uh, kind of something I want to figure out earlier too. Uh, something I ran into an issue. So I'm pretty sure I was right with the ruling of this. Um, I kind of talked about this with a judge earlier today. That this super boost energy, the reason why people run it is because um, I was getting in a debate with a friend about this, is that it provides, it's basically a rainbow energy to stage two Pokemon, but the last part doesn't matter because it comes later. So we're gonna also determine if this is a true thing right now too. I'm pretty sure it is, um, but first I gotta get get a couple cards. That is exactly what I needed to top deck. Uh, let's go ahead, grab this skip plume. Well, at least be able to start uh, inflicting I don't tend to use GX too much too. Yeah, right now we're in a meta right now where people are just trying to go away from GX Pokemon, um, which honestly, it's great. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Tag Team GX, um, but we won't really know that till it hits. I mean, we can kind of take a guess with Japan uh, right now. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna try to just inflict a little bit of damage here. Um, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm really curious. So if, if I'm reading the text right, from what um, from what I saw earlier today, I should be fine with this. Every type of energy, but Fred's only one type. Attached to stage two Pokemon, it provides every type of energy. We're gonna find out. Is my attack active? Yes, it is active. So I was right on that ruling earlier today. Uh, not to sound not to, not to brag about being right, but I was actually yeah I did actually kind of get into this a little bit with someone earlier today. Besides the point though, let's go ahead, Lily or Cynthia. I honestly don't know which one's better to play. Um, let's save let's save Cynthia for next turn. Like I said, I don't expect to get a knockout. I do not expect to get a knockout this turn. Turn. Let's go ahead. I'll throw Lily down right now. Some more stuff. Um, great ball actually that's really fantastic we can we can charge up uh we can charge up uh the jump plus attack a little bit more uh but next turn i'm gonna want to get a knock next turn i'm gonna want to get a knockout for sure um two i take two they take two i go down to they go down to four i want to knock out this lele still next turn that's gonna be pretty 20 40 60 60 they actually have to attach more energy here or they'll probably be able to start attacking with lost march next turn as well um 
yeah, I didn't expect to be able to get a knockout this turn. Uh, anyways, uh, jump plus still there. Still there. Let's see. There's nothing else I can do. We'll go ahead and what is this? Probably 120 rank? 140. Wow, I was pretty, I was pretty dang close. Um, no, but that's good to know about that ruling with Super Boost. So for Stage 2 Pokemon, if you're running this, it's basically a Rainbow Energy, uh, minus you don't take any damage. It has to be attached to Stage 2 Pokemon, but that last part of the text doesn't matter um, because it comes after the it comes after the wording. If this part if this part of the sentence, if you have three more Stage Pokemon, this last this last sentence came before, then it would be a different story. Um, yeah, they're gonna start stacking this up, but then they're gonna you're. Uh, as long as I don't run, like, I mean, if they decide, if they have, like, a random Super Scoop or Ace of Roll in the deck, which I guess if they're running a GX Pokemon, the pro that they could actually have that in there. That'd be the one thing I'd be on the lookout for right now. We'll go ahead and do this for about an hour. Uh, Arm Tank 64, I'll go ahead and find your requests in a little bit. I don't know if you're playing online right now. Um, we can go ahead and do match during the live stream. Maybe I'll mention to my, some of my friends right now, too, that I'm playing. Um, let's see. Yeah, I might share the live stream link to them as well. That'd be kind of fun. So this guy's going to get knocked out. Jump off. Not much I can do about that. Um, so let's see. They're going to be down to four prize cards. I'm going to take two. Then they can take one. So they are going to be still ahead one prize card. It was kind of big, big deal. Had I should, yeah, had I been able to try to knock that out last turn, smart switching it out. But I am going to go for the... Okay, I'm figuring this out right now in my head. I take, if I can start knocking out their jump plus two, that's not bad either. If that Tapu Lele is damaged, so they're gonna take, they can only take one prize card. I take one, they take one. I take one, they take one. That puts them down to two, and then I have to close that gap still. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna go ahead, we'll go in with just, uh, I'm gonna leave jump love out here. We'll start going with Natu, because uh, I have those DC there in hand. I'm actually going to really take my time right now because I don't run a lot of... Yeah, I'm playing right now. Awesome. We can do a match if you're interested. Uh, I don't run a lot of energy in this deck. That's actually the one thing I... I basically, you almost see every single energy. Um, yeah, which is odd. So I'm going to hold on to... I'm going to try to hold on to these pieces for as long as possible. Um, hopefully, I can top deck some things. I think I'm still going to play Cynthia. I take that back. Let's go ahead and play Cynthia. And see what happens because getting guzma at some point if i can get guzma pull another grass energy that's going to be pretty that's going to be equally as important too let's go ahead and play cynthia i still have my nest uh net balls and other things in there i got what i need with that guzma at least so now the next the next trick will be trying to uh get a grass energy um a couple ways i can go about that really odd hand really odd hand um so i'm just now taking my first prize card uh, which will be, I will be playing catch up the whole time for this match, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Eyeing down that Tapu Lele right now. Not to. It would have been great had I been and I will knock that Tapu Lele out. I might have wanted three turns earlier. Might have been better for me to go for, um, to go for a knockout on one of their basic Pokemon. But yeah, we'll take take a take our time. Got a couple. Keep hitting things around here. <laughs> I got a couple booster packs we can open up as well. I also got something kind of extra. This is just kind of a oh, random side note outside of this. Um, I actually uh, like a teacher and stuff. I, I one of the schools. I'm thankfully enough. I get to play like Pokemon with my kids every now and then. So I bought a little extra something. I could open this up on this channel too. It's a battle arena deck that actually has some really sick cards in it. So I kind of want to actually open it up on on stream or sometime on the channel. It's something a little bit different than what it's because it's not a booster pack or anything. But I think it'd be appropriate for live stream. It's got some great cards. It's got some really good staples in there that'd be kind of fun to share so they got their not to arm i'm having to be paying attention to the match um they got their not to army going boom they're gonna knock him out um do i take my time 
or go for uh yeah because i have to top deck either grass energy next turn so hmm let's hope i top deck a grass energy that's what i'm gonna hope for um that'll solve my problems i almost could have held on to that hand we top deck grass energy all right youtuber luck in in action right there um this is actually really good right now uh one two so i will be able to close the gap a little bit um, but they're going to keep hitting me with the not to. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring back Professor Professor Zelm's lecture. We're going to take a look at what's in here. We can get a couple guys evolved. We can throw out not to. We can throw out another skip plume. Um, it doesn't really matter. Like at this point with the Lost March mirror matches, you're basically doing a one for one kind of like little, little scuffle, basically a little dance at this point. Um, that was actually a good thing. Get him out there. Maybe playing Cynthia might have been a better choice. Um, but actually, since he's going to get knocked out anyways, doing this so I can have at least free retreat costs, try to thin out my deck a little bit more. I don't think it's a bad move either. So, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be thrown back out there. Uh, I know all my energies and stuff are in my deck. And the one thing I could do to try to slow him down, um, playing Judge next turn might not be a bad idea. Next turn, I want to knock out that Lele. Next turn, I really need to knock out that Lele. Netball, perfect. That's fantastic. Um, one, I'm going to go down to two. But I think next turn we'll knock out the Lele. Had I just acted just a little bit sooner on knocking something out, it probably would have been a little bit different. But I'm happy with this list, and I'm happy I'm not running any GX Pokemon. So I'm going to keep it that way at least. Um... One year anniversary for this channel. It's actually pretty crazy. Has anyone else commented? Right now, I'm just checking how the video and stuff, um, making sure today's video got up. Um, she's an active Pokemon. Something got knocked out. <laughs> As expected, we got one more grass energy still in there. So I got to also pay attention to this too. Going for that grass energy, that is my last grass energy in my deck right now. So what am I going to go for? We're going to grab... Hmm... We're in, we're in a bit of a bind here right now. I've got a... Because I can Guzma, but then I'm going to run into... So we're going to try something. Um, I'm going to run into an issue. If I Guzma this out, I can't retreat out. Yeah, so we're in a bit of a kerflunk right now. I need, even though I have a grass energy, I can knock him out. Um, let's see. I would like to knock out that Lele this turn. Uh, but then he's going to take... I'm gonna if, Even if I take two, he's going to take one. I think he's gonna win simply because of just how the numbers are stacking out unless somehow I manage a top deck with Lost March. Nah, I don't get it. Um, we'll go ahead and I think I'm honestly gonna play, uh, meh. Uh, yeah, we'll attach a Grass Energy. We can still knock this out this turn and then just kind of hope for the best. I'm gonna attach this Grass Energy here and I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to play Judge. I have no idea what's in his hand. This could change things. This might not affect the state of anything right now. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to see if this can slow him down in any way, shape, or form. That's not actually bad at all getting those pieces. Another DCE for next turn with not to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do one other thing. I don't think I have any more jump plus or anything in there. Any I think I've already gone through. I've burned, I've burned through everything. Um, I need Rescue Stretcher. Actually, hmm, Marsh Shadow for next turn. Marsh Shadow for next turn in case I want to get that little bit of extra draw support. I won't play it this turn. Um, draw one extra card. Actually, that's fantastic too. Um, do you, uh, yeah, uh, Arm Tank 64, do you play mostly standard, mostly expanded? Are you a collector? Um, are, are you, like I said, I just, all the different subscribers and stuff, have you been subscribed to the channel for long? I honestly, um, uh, no, I know I don't want to just end my turn. Uh, it's glitching out a little bit on me. Okay, we're just going to go in for the attack. Um, do I want to shuffle anything back in there? I don't think I can grab anything else right now anyways. Mm, I might regret this, but... Before my turn ends, let's just go ahead and attack. Okay, I don't know why my cards are stuck there on the screen like that. So my only hope, basically, at this point, so if they, um, is that if they don't have any energy, <laughs> uh, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, let's take a look. What does this do? Okay, they got the grass the grass energy. They're gonna get the netball. Um, 
I'm going to go play Marsh Shadow still next turn. Um, and hopefully, hopefully finally can hit the Guzma. If I can... Well, actually, I need to knock this out. We're going to knock out Jump Pluff this turn. They're going to get Cynthia. We're going to do Marsh Shadow next turn. I just switched my... Nice. Well, thank you for the subscription, Arm Tank. I'm really going to try to... There's, there's so many ideas, like, especially now being like i guess i wouldn't say like a content creator because i still don't I, don't I just don't help hold myself in high regards to like any other youtuber or any other big youtuber out there um, i'm really happy with the content i make of course um but it's a it's one of those things honestly i have so much like so many ideas and it just comes down to like time and motivation for most of them um that's really it so we're gonna knock out this thing that this thing this turn not to hopefully um yeah, this is, basically, this is basically what it comes down to. Let's shuffle a couple Pokemon in there. Um, shuffle three Pokemon in there. I think at this point, I just kind of want to rely on that too. Eh, if we could evolve a Skip Plume or something, um, kind of be preemptive. Be let's be let's be optimistic here. Um, they might have the win. This will determine everything if they get that DC or anything. Uh, netball, netball to the. Um, let's netball. Netball here, we evolve or something. I don't know why I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have retreat cost anyways. Um, let's go ahead, Lost March. And my one hope now is would be to a Guzma something, another hit that Lele. Um, oh, that was not too else was prize. Coke Ann, hello. I was hoping if I did this at a different time, welcome to the live stream that you'd be able to attend. Um, we're down to last, basically, yep, they got the win there. I'll go ahead and let them finish the matchup. And I got that one, uh, I should have not tried to knock out a different Pokemon earlier in the match. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a line. Yeah, we can totally do a match together. Do you have an expanded deck ready? Expanded, uh, standard, expanded, we can do either one. Um, this is just a deck I actually used earlier. Ooh, ooh. interesting. Hold on. Hmm. Ooh, I know what they're, they have to. I thought I was out of the match there for a sec. I'm. Uh, okay, going for Trombeak. They haven't instructed yet. Okay, I understand what they have to do. I, I was... So, let's see. I'd be very, very shocked if I go into my turn. Instruct for one. Do they hit it? Didn't mean to... Uh, Ignore you, Kokan, right, right there. But I was, like, watching... I was watching my match on the side, and I'm like, oh, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, we're, we're back in it. The only thing I need to get in order to pull this off. No, no freaking way. That is awesome. Okay, um, I don't think he was in there anyways, so this isn't going to make any difference, but I need to evolve him. Uh, need to evolve him. We'll Trumbeak. We're just thinning out the deck now a little bit. Once during a turn, we'll take a look there. DC, if, okay, so now basically it comes down to this. If I can get Guzma, I win. And knowing this, we know ahead of time he will win next turn if I don't get Guzma. This is fantastic. I love live for these kind of moments. I don't have to evolve him. So basically, I'm just trying to thin out out of those 10 cards in my deck, any Pokemon, thinning out a little bit. I think there's got to be a Guzma in here. So these next three cards are, one of them has to be a Guzma. In order for me to win this, let's go ahead. Keep our fingers crossed, uh, fans and subscribers. Uh, we're not out of this. Okay, we can thin out the deck even. Wait a second. Thin the deck out a little bit more. Search my deck for a basic grass or any. Oh, hmm. Because I don't think there's any more basic Pokemon in there that would fit that requirement if I play that. So I think I have to play. Let's go ahead and do this. DC, he's going to get the win next turn anyways. That was a fantastic match. He'll attach there. There's nothing else I can do. I don't think so, at least. Nope, Guzma didn't hit the Guzma, but that was fantastic. So he'll get a next turn. Well played. But that was that was exciting. Like I said, had I been able to hit... Uh, actually... Yep, he's going to hit the DCE that we know that's there. And he's going to get the last prize but will be a good sport heart that came down right down to the wire had i been able to hit that goose i wanted to check one other thing the one other thing to go one card to thin it out just a little bit more would have been to i i honestly had lost track had i played the 
I think all my grass Pokemon, all my Hoppips. No, one of them might have been in there. I can't remember now. Um, yeah, uh, Coke and Arm Tank. What are your guys' usernames? Just so I can like, go ahead and accept it. I haven't checked that out in a while. Um, four are watching right now. Thank you so much for all those four that are watching. I'm going to go ahead and tell... Um, let me see. I think my requests and stuff should be up here somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and accept all requests. Arm Tank. Well, you know by the name. Accept frame requests. Uh, go ahead and challenge me. I have an uh, expanded deck ready. I have two standard decks. One standard deck that kind of sucks. Another Lycan Rock. I would all be playing with this Lost March deck. And I'm going to assume that no one's going to look on the live stream and stuff. But I'll, I'll leave that. Um, uh, what is it that you guys will look at my screen while I'm, while I'm playing? But of course. Um, while you guys are getting ready, go ahead and send me, uh, I don't know if we're friends, Coke and yet, um, I, am I saying, I hope I'm saying, I, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, we got Arm Tank here, Format Legacy. Uh, are you gonna, I don't know if you're at the screen right now, are you running, are you running an Extandard or Expanded deck, um, Arm Tank? Because that will decide what I'm gonna run. Oh, that's Expanded, right? Cool. Let me double check the list. Which list was this? Expanded. Cool. Um, nope, not that one. Where is it? Cool. If we're doing, I think this is expanded format. I'm going to be rocking the deck I used at Anaheim a couple weeks ago. I'm going to go ahead and let some of my friends know, too, that I'm on, on doing this right now. Oh, and I haven't asked this from, um, from your guys' standard. That's perfect, perfectly fine, but with me, Coke and, um, what was I going to say? I totally lost my train of thought. Once, once that happens, it was something about, something about Pokemon. Hmm. Now, remember, uh, from my end, from what I can tell, um, from my, uh, other laptop and stuff, it looks like everything is running, uh, smoothly and looks good. Um, just let me, let me know if the music is too loud, if I need to turn any, any of my mics up or stuff. I can do that. Um, uh, okay, cool. Let's see. Uh, totally. It's so weird. It's so weird going, going like that from expanded to standard. I honestly think, I think I like standard format now getting kind of better taste and better feel for it. I think I like standard format just a little bit better. So this is kind of like, I was even, um, uh, talking to another friend about this. I, in my opinion, and this isn't everyone's opinion. I think there is more variety in the standard format than there is in the expanded format. Even though the expanded format goes all the way back to black and white. Um, my logic with that is e even just in the time that I right now in even if you look at the results for Anaheim regionals, like probably 50% of the decks, the, the top eight, the, it was like the top eight decks were like all Zork variations. Um, which I don't, I honestly don't find any issue with that. Um, but in standard format, I think they've done a really good job at creating when right now, I think there's probably anywhere from five to 15 viable decks in standard format besides just, and that don't run Zorark, uh, Zorark or um, Archie's Blastoise, that whole thing. Uh, I think there's just a lot of really, really viable decks right now. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead, tap Lele, all of this. Now it says five people are watching the stream. That is awesome. Three now. Was well, five. Second go. Um, yeah, but that's just, yeah, I'm honestly really starting to get a good feel for standard. And that's actually one approach how I was actually talking to another friend about this. And he gave a really, really a kind of solid idea how to, like, just do things a little bit better for um, just trying to qualify for Worlds. So if that's anyone's uh, long-term goal to actually try to make it to the World Championships. And I think this is going to be something I'm going to really shoot for next year is to specifically just focus on... Just to focus on, what else? Well, I'm in a little bit of a conundrum. That's not too bad. I need to top deck something pretty good. Um, I think that's my best bet still. Um, I know what I'll do. If he gets knocked out, Shaman, Sky Return, maybe get a setup a little bit better there. Um, what was I saying? Something about standard format. No, so for next year for standard format, he gave a really good idea that instead of trying to focus on all between the two formats, standard, expanded, and all that, just to focus on standard format. Because the World Championship is always going to be in standard format, um, or that's what it has been, at least in, in recent years. Uh, 
So by doing that, you focus on just going to all the standard regional events instead. Um, that that way, you're not like as focused. I could play Bridget again and try to thin things out a little bit. Yeah, why not? Um, go ahead via secret that Bridget. Um, but that also that also means then too that I'd have to fly out then to some of the other standard events because there's other ones I know in. Um, the only other regional event I'm thinking about trying to maybe like get off time for work and stuff a little a uh, little ways out from now would be um, maybe Denver, maybe the international event that in, in America that'll happen later this year. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Honestly, that bridge that bridge there was just to thin things out. If you feel blow or any of if you feel blow or any of this um, arm tank 64, then you'll definitely. Uh, Weaken my Zork line there a little bit. Yeah, but by doing that, I mean it's not a bad it's not a bad idea. Just focusing on the standard format, kind of just uh, uh, kicking away and my instant in IGN as well. Cool. All right. Ooh, yes. There we go. That will help for next turn. Um, let's go for, I know what I'm going to go for. With everything set up there, you'll probably be able to knock out this stuff with the coin feds. Any damage to this Pokemon by Pokemon attacks reduced by 30. That is cool. Let's go ahead. I know what I'm going to play. Let's go ahead and smooth over for call rest. Standard format, yeah. So that's kind of that might be something if I really do want to shoot for the World Championship in 2020. Um, I mean, even though I did good at one league challenge in midday, that means nothing as far as trying to do good all day at um, at a at a regional event because they're just a lot longer events. They're so much. Uh, it honestly, it's one of the one of the biggest things about regionals. I, I guess like separating like. I, you know, amateurs from people who played a lot, a lot more. Honestly, is those long, those long days and those long matches. Um, going to four regional events now, I can kind of like speak more about that. Uh, I feel like I have a better grasp, being able to actually like talk about that sort of thing. Um, this was the deck that I brought to uh, with me to regionals. Um, there's a couple things I would have changed. I just kind of went for a list because. Um, Honestly, the reason why I ended up playing this list more than anything was I simply ran out of time between work and work and school and classes and other things. I just needed a list to play. I honestly thought I can't believe I didn't hit a single, um, a single dork. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, I honestly can't believe like um, I, I just needed something to play for the event. So I decided I was going to go with another list that I knew I was familiar with that I knew I could do at least operate and would, wouldn't mind be wouldn't mind playing for a solid, um, a solid like. If seven or eight hours uh let's go ahead discard this discard these two guys and then at that point i should be able to hit a zork pretty soon um looks like you'll be able to knock out this little zoru next turn um and kind of like moments like this where i either do really did really well with this list or i just bricked hard and just like could hit nothing um but i still really like it uh, there's um there's things i'll i'll try if i if i run this list again um, I'm, I'm actually kind of done with uh, with the expand format after this, though. In terms of like the season, I'll still play like, um, sure, why not? I don't think this is gonna do anything, right? But any damage to this Pokemon is reduced by 30 after playing weakness and resistance. So I could do that for zero. I could try to save him. 50 flip a coin if this hand does certain more damage. I think I'll just go ahead and retreat him out just to just to try to save him a little bit. We can go ahead and keep that DC on there. Um, yeah, hello everyone who's welcome out, checking out this stream, whether you're watching it now or watching it later. We also got a couple booster packs we can open up if people are interested in those. Uh, okay, and I got a couple here. Um, a fantastic day for polls. Um, I, got, I just got really lucky at the event. Just kind of some other fun things to show. Wow, the camera, where is it? That's right over here. This was today's awesome, awesome poll. Um, awesome pull from a breakthrough side i'm never wrong getting you to and the first place zeb strike card like i said i, I don't say like oh who, who i got first place it's more of a wow i can't believe i got lucky <laughs> i got lucky enough to get first place um oh it's my end of my turn i haven't ended my turn yet have i um no i haven't cool meant to do that sir sorry sorry about that arm tank <sighs> um but so far, it seems like doing live streams at nighttime already seems to be like the better idea. So 
Um, that'll be something I can keep in mind going forward from here. And I, I finally remember, uh, let me know, uh, I think I said this just a couple minutes ago, I think everything should sound pretty good, I was just, uh, I did mul I ran multiple tests before the live stream uh, started. Um, but let's go ahead, I think I should be able to start 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 180, 180. I just want to make sure I have a stack bench and be able to do this. So now now I can kind of, I mean, a lot of people run this list. Um, there's nothing nothing really fancy or special about this. So if you can get this set up a little bit earlier, I didn't get it set up um, anywhere uh, nearly ideal enough. Um, with having this many Pokemon out, Skyfield basically boosts Zork up. The only thing I'm missing now, let's go ahead, grab a DC from hand. We're gonna get that via uh, Macargo, which is extremely OP. Uh, I actually, the, the card, I mean, um, I'll, I'll give my take on, uh, I don't know how many of you have been playing for super long or like are follow any of the group's social media groups or anything, but basically, um, Wazi at Pokemon TCG Rito, he actually did a, a topic about this, like, should Zork be banned or DCE should be banned? Um, quick, quick, quick answer for me and for most people, it's like, no, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, they're good cards. It's different. Things are going to always rotate out. Things will always be better or worse, just depending on the time of the season. And right now, I still think even in, even in expanded format, while while there is like a set of decks out there you do see a lot of zork i still think there is a decent amount of variety in the format right now um like i said not everyone is gonna not not nearly everyone's gonna agree with that opinion um but i think i think most people who've been playing for at least like a year um or who've been playing long enough to like switch out from different seasons are gonna are gonna agree with that i think it, the it's really an interesting format they keep printing out more cards they keep trying to make things so things don't get broken or stale and especially the thing with um um the biggest thing with expanded they wrote uh, they banned four cards last year which completely changed the format and made things a lot a lot better um, they banned, what was it, Hex Maniac, Puzzle Time, Wally, and Getsis. Uh, banning those four cards was an absolutely phenomenal decision. It gave a lot of, uh, it gave a lot of decks new breath. Um, and that's why I don't think they really need to do anything else right now. Uh, we'll go ahead, I could go for the Mewtwo right now. We'll go ahead and take our time. Um, yeah, just keep on, keep on trucking. So this is something I've actually wanted to ask you, Coke Ant, for a while. I'm gonna ask Armchair too. Where are I, I know I think you said this in a couple of comments before. Where are you from? I think you're some for somewhere else in the world. I I, I, I say that loosely, but like because um I hope that doesn't sound terrible to me. But like literally most of my subscribers, I've had subscribers from Brazil, from Ireland, from Germany. Um the people who come check out my channel are mostly like inter international people, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um you're just going to kind of keep going ahead and burning down since I'm uh, charged up now. And if you guys have any questions for me about my channel, about anything, I'm going to... That's awesome. In the USA, awesome. Awesome as well. That's cool. You might actually be Arm, tra uh, arm Tank. I'm sure I have other USA subscribers. As far as the ones who've like attended the live stream, you might be the first one. Nice. That's, ph uh, that's phenomenal. Just so many subscribers are from so many different parts of the world. That's honestly been my favorite part about starting this channel. Um, is just that uh, actually just all where where everyone's like from. Let's see. This attack does. Let's see how much damage does he do? Two hundred. Not too worried about them. Go ahead and knock out this. I just have a lot I have a lot of plans for for 2019 I want to try to put out additional videos each week I want to try to put out extra dis discussion videos I want to try to get some of my other friends and stuff on board with this and as far as like even even from like today's events now that I've been with this group of people um specifically my uh like Pokemon League buddies and stuff in the area I'm at I'm finally feeling really comfortable enough where I wouldn't mind filming in front of them or doing vlogs and stuff uh, honestly the biggest thing I've had to come over I even looking back once I actually just kind of get out of my comfort zone and actually just 
do it. I'm perfectly fine filming in front of people. Um, it's just taking a, it's taking me a while to like. I feel like I, I'm I'm not this type of person to like, uh, or even mind people who are pretentious. But I feel that way like a little bit doing that. But I'm finally I'm finally getting into like comfortable in my own skin, like doing that in front of people and talking in front of a camera. Um, but it definitely takes practice. It definitely isn't something. Um, I guess it kind of came natural uh, when I look at the clips from like the regional events I've gone to I seem to do a really good job at it it looks like a pretty decent vlog I enjoyed how the last one turned out um so with, with both of you guys here I can kind of actually tell you I'm gonna t I'm gonna say this in the Anaheim vlog which god god I, I just gotta go ahead and edit that together I, I'm so bad at getting <laughs> I'm so bad at editing uh stuff together um what happened so kind of like kind of the background story what are we at now? 3060. I actually, one of the first decks I ran was a Mewtwo, uh, Mewtwo EX deck back in the day. Um, kind of like not, uh, kind of a troll deck I want to make at some point. So there's only one thing I need in order to knock this out. I just need a choice band. So this is kind of what I call like, not like the Royal flush or whatever it is like the, like the, the grand finale of how much, uh, Oh, are both of them prized? Well, I was gonna, I was looking, Oh, both, both the choice bands are in my hand. Um, they wouldn't both be prized because <laughs> I have only one prize card left. Um, the max amount in this setup, if you have Skyfield, Choice Band, and the Pokemon's a GX Pokemon, the max amount of damage, unless you have like run one Kakui or something, is 210. So I'm able to get that out there. Um, but like I said, I broke hard like for that first half of the match. Um, really, really bad for that first match there for a little while. Uh, go ahead and send me uh, a request, Cocaine, whenever you want to. I was telling the story about my trip down to Anaheim two weeks ago. So what happened was, so first, my first mistake was flying United Airlines. Even my friends telling me that ahead of time were like, you shouldn't be flying with them. That's not going to go well. And I was like, yeah, the flight was cheap. Um, I'm sure it won't. Uh, good game to you, Arm Tank 2. Um, so what happened was my first flight got delayed. My uh, I had a connecting flight in San Francisco. Everything was going to be fine. It was like an hour and a half in between the two gates and stuff, which is perfectly fine. Um but that first flight got delayed a lot so i'm uh, so i had a flight to get to san francisco but then i had to figure out how i was going to get from san francisco to anaheim i don't know if you guys know much about the distance or where you're from in the united states arm tank but there's still a good uh couple hundred miles between san francisco and anaheim so that's what i had to figure out how i was going to get in between there so what I ended up doing, since that flight, I missed my flight in San Francisco. I knew that was going to happen literally just by like 10 minutes too. It drove me or get crazy. Um, but thankfully, I found a connecting flight flying out of San Francisco at 6 a.m. Um, so I spent the night in the San Francisco airport. I wish I would record more of that. But I just at that moment, I wasn't exactly in the best mood mood so i recorded a little bit from inside there um but it was absolutely it was fine i i, I had a place to stay so the san francisco everyone actually in and now that i think back at this everyone inside the san francisco airport the people who were the co-worker uh, the employees and stuff they were actually all really nice uh they were all really nice i chatted up with, with quite a few of them um thankfully i found a connecting flight at 6 a.m so between the day it was a friday the uh regional event started at the anaheim convention center at uh somewhere between it was going to start between 8 and 8 30 and I just really I didn't care if I missed the first round or two but I didn't want to just miss the whole day I already paid my registration fee and I was so close I really wanted to make that event um somehow I got on my flight from San Francisco 6 a.m touch uh I didn't land uh touch ground in Anaheim uh in, in Los Angeles at 7 30 ish uh got my Lyft driver and somehow I made it to round one I was in my seat by 8 30 the honestly the math in my head it still it still blows my mind that I made. I was in San Francisco an hour before, like just a couple hours, literally not even two hours before I was sitting in my seat down in a, uh, down at the Anaheim Convention Center. Um, did you say, oh, I, didn't, I haven't accepted your friend request yet, uh, uh, Coke Ann. There, there, duh. there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was going on in my story. Um, now all oh, should be good. Send me that request whenever you're ready. Um, where was I going with this? So somehow I made it to round one. And honestly, it was one of the things. So from that Friday before through Saturday night, I was up for 40 hours straight, um, which isn't no, that big of a deal. But honestly, it's one of those things I just can't stay up that late. Like back back in high school and stuff, I used to stay up for like two days straight and it did, like, didn't phase me or anything. But now with working like other stresses, it actually does kind of wear down on me. <laughs> um, first three matches, I was like on an adrenaline rush the entire time. Um, and then after that last match, I just, I just crashed. I crashed super, super hard. I went ahead. Um, well, Tan, you said standard. You're running a standard format deck. I'm going to go ahead and pick, uh, I think that's what you said up here. Uh, I haven't expanded it. 
I think you said that. I mean, I think that's what you said. If welcome back at the stream. Yep, I'll go ahead and run my standard deck I ran today. Um, somehow I made it. I crashed after I crashed after that, those first couple matches. I played all nine of my matches, but I knew my focus and stuff just kind of went out the door. Um, so in the end, uh, actually a lot of the Anaheim vlog is going to be footage from Disneyland. Uh, I don't know if you know the, the geography of any, whoever's watching this later. Literally, Disneyland is right across from the Anaheim Convention Center. So we went ahead and took advantage of that the following day. A couple people from our group, uh, people did super, super well. Um, super, super well. A lot of people made it into day two. Not a bad start in hand. Ugh. So it says with I'm playing and I know you two are here right now. It says five people are watching, so I don't know who those other five those other couple people are, but thank you so much for tuning in. It really means a lot to me. And I, I genuinely mean that. Um I I don't know if I would uh, I hope it's a basic Pokemon. I'm gonna draw that extra card be a basic Pokemon so I can take advantage of that Lily. Nah, darn it. Oh yeah, and it was my turn one anyways, grr. Um we'll burn we'll burn through them things. I can I can make this work. Let's great ball first. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic thing to have there. We'll go ahead and do this. Attach an energy here. I'm actually going to disc what do I want to discard? Uh I wanna play that Ultra Ball so I can play that Lily. Yeah, but that was the adventure of that was the adventure of being of getting to of somehow making it in time to make it in time to that uh, to that regional event. So honestly, it makes for an exciting story. I can't wait to share a little bit of that in the vlog. That was kind of the background of everything. Sweetness. Throw him out. Trombeak. Yeah, looking back at him now. Um, I just wish I want to, ooh, I like, I like, ooh, your deck is toxic to mine, actually. Uh, Kokan, that is a good deck. I'm, that is actually a tough matchup for me. Anything that does, especially since I'm gonna want to evolve fast. And depends what kind of cards are running in there. Cheated, by the way. Just kidding. He beat me fair. Ow, Alex. Wait, Alex from like today. Like, wait. Didn't you just subscribe? Hello. Wow. People are finding this. <laughs> he cheated, by the way. Just kidding. Hey, it's good. Thanks for checking out the live stream. attention to the match, but I might actually just mention I'm doing a live stream to the group right now. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, I should pay attention. Okay, I need to evolve things fast. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't know the basic Pokemon. I'm probably going to play that judge. Hmm. You he hammered one of my things. How rude. Uh, uh, a couple things I could do. Don't want to attach an energy. Let's grab... Actually, this, I haven't been able to look at my deck yet. Well, I did last time, but I really wasn't paying too much attention. Uh, we'll grab another Hoppet. Yeah, that's a good choice. Uh, judge. I don't want to play Judge, but I think I'm going to. My bench is stacked right now. We'll go ahead, attach another energy here. It's another not to. I mean, there's a good chance I could always... Oh, do I want to shuffle that jump up back in there? Not yet. We'll judge it. So kind of the, the judge was honestly... I had the judge in there. Most people probably have a Marshadow in there at this point. Um, Honestly, I was only using judge because I didn't have another Marshadow. It's me, Edwin. Hey, hey, Edwin. Nice to see you. Thanks for subscribing. I forgot you subscribed me to me earlier when we were eating pizza. <laughs> uh, not ideal. I don't want to send any of this to the lost... Oh, there's something I can do. Actually, pretty cool. Nest ball. Let's go ahead and grab our boy Orangaroo. Or I could I could marsh out of no let's get let's I could marsh out of no I can't marsh out of go straight to my bench. Um while we're at it we can rescue stretch or something back in there. So I can use instruct for one. Shuffle three Pokemon, put one 
one jump left back in there, and we'll get an instruct for one. This could be the one card I need. Not quite, but we'll go ahead, wait one turn, um, see what happens. What are we at right now? 20, 40, no, just 20. So I need to hit something kind of big. Be next one. Because if you are, I don't know which one you're running. Are you running, if you're running Glacier Dark type Umbreon. I'm gonna have to refresh myself. That's a cool Pokemon. I love um Umbreon's probably my favorite of the Eevee evolutions. Anaheim was fun. Uh, today's challenge was the first, like, sanctioned event I've played in since Anaheim, Anaheim. And I honestly can't believe, like, the part that I can't get over that Anaheim I just still got back. That event was just two weeks ago. Like, with Christmas and stuff, um, holidays, it's just the past, the past couple weeks have been a total blur. Um, well played. Solid deck. I definitely gotta hit something good next turn. Hmm. How do I want to approach this? Um. <laughs> well, send out Hop. Hopefully, hope for the best. Does that help me though? Search for three Pokemon. I gotta evolve him. Hop it. I could lost Blender. Who? Risky. Let's do it. Let's grab. The two of those guys, I might lost Blender something there too. Um, so I can evolve, jump pluff, and I need to draw some cards right now. So I think we're gonna send something to the lost zone. I think that Nazi is gonna be going to the lost zone along with. So we gotta start thinning things out with this deck and hopefully get attacking this turn. I definitely want to attack you this turn, Kokan. That's going to be my plan. Is to try to knock out. Uh, actually, I don't. This attack does 30 damage less. This, this is a cool concept for a deck. Did you come up with this yourself, Kokan? Uh, or is this just something you have found online? Or this is a cool deck. Especially if you keep disrupting my energy, then I could. I definitely see the train of thought with it. So I don't want to sacrifice. I know what I'll do. With that jump up being there, I definitely won't send this one to the Lost Zone. We'll go ahead, we'll draw, we'll be able to draw two extra cards. We'll send uh, uh, not two to the Lost Zone, perfectly fine with that, and a Lost Blender to the Lost Zone. Draw one card. It's a uh, Trombeak. That's fantastic. That's a good card. Again, oh, I'm definitely discarding that one. That is something I want in the Lost Zone, Cocaine. Uh, yep, 100%. That is a good thing to have there. If I can hit the Grass Energy, we'll be... It won't be a knockout. Still nothing there. Uh, kind of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Um, so he can still hit for 90. So what do I want to do? I'm going to try to hit one more thing. Um, the detect does 30 less damage times the amount of energy attached to your Pokemon. So he does 90. That is fantastic. I love that. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to get knocked down next turn? If he can only do 90... But that would still mean I'm deciding. The one, one, only thing I'm deciding, Coke and right now, I'm deciding if I want to switch out for a Rangaroo. If I know you can't knock him out, then that puts me in a dilemma of am I really stalling long enough? Um, not to, I can get back. And not to, I can. I, and not to is a redeemable card, though. Uh, let's go ahead and throw him out. Yeah. He gets knocked out. I can still, I still have one more rescue stretcher in there, hypothetically. I still think the draw power from, the draw power from a Rangaroo is going to be more important in the long run. Does not any more damage? Dang, this is a good counter. Yeah, this is a solid counter to Lost March. I might have to, might have to come take up. Take a look at a little list like this myself and bring it to Leap Challenge sometime next week. Landing. 
Zaxxon. Definitely gonna wanna knock out and start, cause this turn, I, this turn, I absolutely have to start knocking something out. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, uh, Lily. Not nothing. Mm, I'm definitely, you know, not a whole lot I can do. So this is kind of the two two sides of this coin to this deck. Um, it either, <laughs> uh, kind of said, I don't know if Benji will watch this later, but Benji, like I said, this could have happened earlier. This was basically my one of my one of my really good friends uh game three um basically both are trying to get we're in, in the running for first place um it just bricks hard sometime like this so we'll go ahead just in case so he doesn't get knocked out it's something Ugh. Especially with those three there. So you're probably gonna, with the prize exchange right now, Kokan, if I'm just gonna take a wild guess, I think you'll come out ahead. Because especially with that retaliate, that does 90. You're doing a good job not running in any GX Pokemon in there. I'm guessing Buzzwell matchups are some are not fun for you. That is a ma that is a matchup I'm gonna take a wild guess with. So we gotta burn. We gotta just... <laughs> I'm going to take my chances with something, because I need to get, so, three of those Pokemon in there. Mm, burn through the deck a little bit. Let's see, Marshadow. Marshadow might be something I want to grab this turn. That's what I will grab this turn. Let's go ahead and try to switch out something. I'm going to go ahead and start going for, hopefully, where are we at right now? 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, plenty. Let's knock out, if I can knock out an Umbreon, that'd be great. Uh, just to try to start closing the gap even just a little bit. Uh, let's discard um, Hypothetically one more rescue stretcher in there, so I should Be able to afford this and I just have to hit a grass energy this turn um, we'll Hold on to Yeah, we'll go for Marshadow Marshadow, see if this brings anything for us. I should have app. One other thing I should have done. I just cannot hit. I'm not hitting those energies. The one downside with this list right now. That's okay though. Uh, I'm gonna go for it with a Rangaroo. I'm gonna discard both those things. Grab a Trumpeak that I can discard. I don't have any other Pokemon. Uh, Kogan, I'll probably throw now we'll, we'll play it out to the end it won't take it won't take too long for you to cat that card it's not a good card anyways <laughs> okay those three that's fi finally there we go but a little a little late to the party there but at this point <sighs> It still is going to be pretty hard for me to keep that. I, I can probably keep the exchange rate going for a little while, but with him having two, I'm going to assume you don't have any GX Pokemon in there. Retaliate, retaliate. Oh. Take a look and just I'm just checking on my today's video, making sure that all got up nice. All nice and dandy. I can actually click out of out of that area. Let's see what happened. You threw down him, Umbreon, Umbreon. Umbreon still low those Persians are also getting in the way too. But I can finally I'm finally on the board. Let's let's see. I burned through so many resources next last turn. That's not even funny. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's, let's just kind of keep the knockout going. Um, I'm going to actually just play netball just to see what's left in there. Only got one, one more grass energy. That's fine. I don't need to grab that right now. Uh, one DC. I got the super boost in there. So I definitely 
Ooh, that's ooh, I just really, one of my uh, I don't know rescue stretchers there too. Damn, I don't have a lot of cards left in here. Uh, I don't need to grab any. I'm gonna play Cynthia anyways. I attached from hand already. There's two ways you might win actually. Uh, um, uh, Coke and I might run. I'm gonna probably run out of cards anytime soon too. Um, play Cynthia. Look at my last seven cards in my deck. Can I burn through? Huh, that could help. this live stream going for a little while. Nice, nice. Let's see. How did today's video do? Make sure that got all up nice and fine and dandy. What do people comment? What do people say so far? Honestly, it's one of those things I still can't get over. So basically, the average for my booster packs, it just really just depends on the day. Um, they got uh, Statistically, they show if I get them out first thing in the morning, they do better anywhere from 15 to 20 views on average. They get closer to 40. Um, I've just been really lazy the past couple weeks. I need to get a better habit of just uploading them first thing in the morning. Um, depending what I top deck. I need to top deck. Not that, actually. Um, hmm, interesting. Oh, it kind of comes down to what I get next turn. Let's... Got the DC right there, though. That's not a bad thing at all. Um, Cause I think you're gonna keep knocking things out with, uh, with Alolan Persian next turn, unless somehow, unless you, you start to break Brickin' Hard too. Let's see, I'm gonna take a look at today's video. It looks like it looked nice and well. Thank you, Coke Ann, for a couple. I meant to say this a couple weeks ago for noticing that I had uploaded the wrong video. You were the single, single-handedly, the person that noticed that. Had I not noticed that comment, um, I would have, I would have actually kind of missed the day. Yeah, I t definitely would have, would have not been able to get up uh, the right video in time. Oh yeah, you're gonna knock him out no matter what, and then you'll just need to take one more prize card. Oh, good choice. So next turn, it's not gonna matter because. It is 30. I think you have... No, you're, you definitely have a win. Um, so with that Persian there, unless... No, that was a well played there. Let's go ahead. There's only one thing I can do. I don't really like doing that, but I might be able to stall for one turn. Do I really want to do that? No, I'll, I'll let you get I'll let you get the win. We can do. We can go another round if you want to. Go ahead and take the final prize card. I kind of want to play against your list again. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Kind of might have been a little preemptive there. What is it? It's 30. Oh, yeah, and I have two energy there. So 30, 60. So D two DCA. What does that mean then? I'm just that bad at math. Like I said, I've never played against Lone Persian before. So that means you can't. Yeah, you'll go for go for a Rangaroo or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go again, Kogan. That's a cool list. I'm definitely, I think I probably have most of the pieces to make something kind of similar to it. Uh -huh. Less arm tank. So I'll go ahead and show the list. Um, let's do one challenge again. I'm deciding. We can do. Well, we'll do one more match. If you're interested in doing another match, Cocaine, we can do one one more match. I absolutely love playing. Um, I had never seen that list before, um, so I like seeing new lists because then how I play against them differently. Who knows? That one match playing against them might help me next week. And actually, I think I'm going to one more league challenge tomorrow. 
So maybe I'll come across that deck tomorrow. Maybe that little bit of experience will help me next time. Um, this was the list I came with. Um, it'll probably what I run tomorrow too. I it's super consistent. I really enjoyed it today. Um, really the two big differences in here that the one thing I probably will change I will probably switch out this judge for another month help me a lot yeah I, I bricked a little hard there at the beginning it happens um, no no list is perfect no match is perfect um, you always have like I said just kind of, um, kind of got actually my point I said earlier how there's I, I really do believe there's more format uh, more variety in standard format I had never seen that list before Koken, and that is absolutely um, a viable list actually if you I don't know if you keep your list private if you were to send me a screenshot of that or anything I would absolutely love to try that li list out myself um, just to try some than different but that's completely up to you um the two things that are different the things i might switch out a lot of people run one more Rangaru. i'm honestly finding it pretty consistent just to run the one i haven't prized them yet um yeah the only other thing i might change with this list is throwing another marsh shadow uh throwing them switch out the judge of the marsh shadow maybe switch out the professor elms lecture for something else um but today he came in clutch he came in clutch for two different wins he uh, ha hands down um Let's see, until you start, uh, you can challenge me again if you want to go again. We're gonna open some booster packs right now, just the, some of the online ones. Oh, I don't have a lot of online ones, we only got two. Um, that's not much to open up, we'll go buy a couple more, because last time, last time cocaine, you should go find one of the uh, live, I think it was only the first or second live stream I did. Um, we got some booster packs, and we absolutely got some insane pulls on that live stream. We'll definitely start opening up uh, some of the other booster packs. Um, some other booster packs as well let's go ahead and open up yeah we'll open up some booster packs online in real life i have my actual the, the actual little deck i have right here um how's it looking right now it's right it skipped away from the live stream there for a second um yeah a couple open up a couple booster packs bobs and lost under i would not complain about a getting pulling a rainbow rare burning shadows charizard <laughs> I swear, the, like, it happened even even the other day uh, when I was uh, talking about wanting to pull an alone Ninetales GX. That's literally what I got when I was doing it on live stream a couple days ago. Um, the YouTuber luck, I really, I mean, I'm not superstitious in any way, shape, or form. But YouTuber luck might be a, might be a little bit of a thing. Let's see. Community live streaming. Here we go. How's this looking right now? Patrick, Heracross. We got one more. Looking insane. Looks like it's it's looking pretty good from right there right now. Oh, Sigle of GX. Nothing wrong with that. Fantastic pull. Actually, one of um, kind of newer acquaintance. He ran this card in his deck at Anaheim, and uh, safe to say. He did very well. He did very well. I haven't talked to him. How many of the friends want me to mention if they're okay with me mentioning him, mentioning them in the live stream? Uh, really cool card. It was fantastic. Fantastic random tech in, uh, in a lot of decks. Giratina, Prism Star. When you play this card from your hand, you may have 200 cards from your hand to it. Fantastic. Cool looking card. We also got a Toxic Croak, Eevee. Adorable looking. I think that was the last Pokemon booster pack there. Um, let's see. Who's here still? Got four people watching. Hello. Thank you for those four people who are checking in. Uh, I think we'll switch to some booster packs, some actual booster packs, and open up a couple of those. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do some real booster packs. I'm going to switch the camera setting around just for a second. There's OBS running. It's honestly, it's actually, this is actually the laptop I do literally do everything from. Um, it's honestly amazing that I'm actually able to do everything that I can from this uh, 2011 MacBook Pro. Um, but it gets the job done. So um, let's go ahead. Actually, I'll go ahead and cut the camera just while I'm switching it for one second. Yeah. Cool. Now we gotta do some live Pokemon booster packs. B2, thanks for playing with me. You judge me again, how many? I could build how many how many packs does jump puff cost? Um do I have any extra that I I I I might be able to spare you a couple, uh, Kokan. I might, I'll go check my inventory online at least. Um, I wish you build a lost margin deck as well. How many how many packs does Jump Puff cost? I still lack three. Three more Jump Puffs? I might have one or two extra. I don't know if they're... They might be locked. So I, I'd have to go check that. But if you... 
yeah, I might, uh, after this, I can try to send you like a, uh, maybe maybe see if I have one or two extra, so you could at least get um, the jump plus. He's the top. He's the top card to get. Uh, the hop it. Pop it, um, skip plume. Those two guys are pretty relatively easy to get. Um, and if, are you talking about IRL or are you talking about in um, in the online game? Let's see. Okay, we'll start with three Pokemon booster packs. Uh, actually, we got four here, so we're gonna do four. Um, the focus should be. It's already looking a lot better. That is actually looking a lot better. I did a little bit of surgery on this Logitech web camera, um, just just like right before the live stream started. Thought I heard something. Nope. Let's see. Just slide it over just a tad bit more so my laptop's not on the screen. And yeah, let's get up a little bit. Sorry about it. I'm adjusting it. I think it's probably poor etiquette. Poor etiquette to be doing on the live stream, but testing things out, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. Cool. Let's start online version. Yeah, I might be able to have, I might have one or two I can help you out with with that. Um, we'll do, I'll send you a message about that afterwards. Um, let's start with a Sun and Moon Lost Under Pokemon booster pack. I might bring up the brightness a little bit more. I've been messing with that. Let's do video capture device. Yeah, I like the way it looks, but I want to bring up the brightness just a little bit. There we go. I like that more. Sweet. Let's get started. Let's see another rainbow rare. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Not a problem. I, I only I only wish Cocan. Um, like I haven't really done any big giveaways or anything um, other than the daily code. Because really, honestly, I know the daily code is like really helpful for a lot of people. A lot of people enjoy that. It's not really even like much of a good giveaway. It's really just a way. Hopefully, I get to help out a couple people. Um, yeah, I've never really, I haven't ran into too many problems with like people trying to get co greedy or anything. There was a couple things earlier earlier this year, but most of those things have gone away. But really, it's just like because even even this online code, like honestly, you can you can buy um, people sell these online codes, even the most recent expansions, for a pretty pretty a fair deal online. That's how actually if I if I'm in the rush or really want to try to get something. Um, I buy, I do buy a lot of the online codes. I don't buy cards directly, but you're, it's you, it's actually against the term of services to buy like uh, online digital card. Like you don't, you can't. My example for this would be um, alone nine tail GX. You're not supposed to like go buy the card digitally through eBay or eBay or something. But you can buy these codes and like comic book store, a lot of a lot of trading card stores um, sell these sort of things. You can buy them online and stuff too. Some people will even email you the code. Uh, first card. Did I do the card trick yet? I don't know. I did. We kick things off with a electric type energy. We have a Vespa Queen right here. I don't even know what this Vespa Queen does. It is looking better. I think I'm still gonna bring in the focus a little bit more. Um, that is a look that is looking a lot better. Actually, right there it looks pretty, pretty good. I need to adjust the lighting a little bit. Let's see if we can get that glare down a little bit. Very picky about these sort of things. Uh, then we follow things up with Mina. This is a card that hit me up if you need code to give out. I will, Alex. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Mina. This is actually a card. I, I think this is actually a really good card. I absolutely, I'm actually a pretty, pretty big fan of this. Uh, we continue things up with a deck. The not this alone duck trio, but one, the one from Ultra Prism. I absolutely love that alone duck trio. Uh, we continue things next with the Psychic Pokemon Litwick, a really cool little fella right there. We have a Combi. We got an evolution change right there. Vespaquin. We continue things up with the Psychic type Pokemon Marini. We have actually this Larvitar. Uh, this po your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counter. This is a great card. I absolutely love this Larvitar. It's so. What was the list that I was trying to add it in? If you just wanted something in expanded format to be able to counteract uh, just a good weakness against uh, Zork GX, one DCE. If they got three damage counters on it, this little guy will knock out Zork GX with one hit and a bunch of other dark types too as well. Absolutely fantastic little fella. I've been wanting to actually pull him for a while. Uh, next, we have everyone's favorite Gen 1 Water Pokemon Slowpoke. Uh, we have a Giratina. Not a bad pull at all. Kokan, need to go out now. See you next time, Kokan. Thank you so much for joining in here. Um, I'll check. I think nighttime is honestly the better time for me to do these live streams, so I'm definitely going to be doing these. Um, Boost Packs will be here when you ever want to check out. Have a fantastic day, Kokan. Um, and see you next time. Uh, we have a Houndoom right there, and that's the last card from that Pokemon Boost Pack. We're going to open up a couple more. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get a little warp stuff and check real quickly. Um, some of you, I don't know if anyone's gonna recognize the shirt from. Um, this is, uh, don't mind me, I'm ca uh, just catching invisible monsters. This is a merch from Philip DeFranco. He's one of my favorite YouTubers out there. I've watched him for a long time. I'm sure I got him from a long time ago. Um, let's go ahead and get, what is this? Another Lost Thunder. I think these are mostly, oh, we got one Celestial Storm up here. Um, it's still not, it's not perfectly, it's not perfectly straightened with the mat either. Let's see. Cool. That looks better. Um, another Lost Thunder Pokemon booster pack. A lot of good things. Lost Thunder, um, in, in terms of review, this is kind of like, I would love to like, kind of like rate or judge. Uh, even from the last two most recent expansions, comparing Lost Thunder to Celestial Storm, um, definitely Lost Thunder, I think, introduced... There was a couple one-trick ponies from Celestial Storm, like Macargo and stuff, that definitely had like shook up the meta a little bit. The Sun and Moon, the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder, like introduced like entire new deck format ideas. Someone might have actually gotten this code if someone did. Um, go ahead and redeem that. Uh, kind of flashed up there on the screen. Definitely enough time to go redeem that. Um, let's go ahead and see what we got in this one. We kick things off with a Dark Type Energy. I think bringing it down just a little bit yep we have a dark type energy right there we continue things up with a whitney her mill tank in the first uh second generation man she was a tough gym leader beat uh next we have the electric pokemon flaffy we continue things up with the trainer card kahili focus is just eh, it's so close to being like better um it's gonna be something i keep tweaking with uh for forever uh, okay, I need to go out, stay in common. We have a Scyther right there. Next, we have the Electro Pokemon Stunkfish. We have a Chikorita, awesome looking Chikorita. We have an Alolan Meowth, the Alolan Meowth that uh, Kokan just used a little bit ago. We have a Yam Mask. We have a Reverse Hollow Carbink. And the last card we have in today's Pokemon Booster Pack, we have gotten some great staples. Granbull, another, like I, like I just said, the uh, Lost March just introduced an like, entire new kind of deck ideas. This is kind of another one. Um, all out this this deck it's kind of um it suck you you it's it's a tough duck deck to run i've seen a lot of people run it well um but i've also seen it just kind of like crash and burn at the same time but still a lot of cards that are just kind of sought after right now um two more pokemon boost packs let's go ahead we'll do we'll do a celestial storm mix things up a little bit um i guess I guess the one other card I forgot about, uh, I guess there was Stack Attack, uh, there was Rayquaza GX. Rayquaza GX, he's going to be coming back, I think, next expansion. Um, a lot of, th a couple things from Tag Team that are going to help him out, make him a little bit more relevant. I mean, uh, when Rayquaza first hit, um, I mean, everyone was, everyone was playing Rayquaza GX, like, that first month the Lesseal Swarm came out. Um, but then people just figure out how to counter it really well, so it really didn't, it really hasn't seen, I mean, I think it's still probably topped, uh, it's topped pretty well at a lot of different places, but, um, it just hasn't, it hasn't the kind of play it has it had a couple months ago uh, we kick things off with an uh, electric type energy next we have a bill's maintenance we have a cacturn we have a lombre i almost dropped all of them we have a clam pearl we have a low tad we have a fan feet we have a wingle a trico a reverse all bell spread and the last card in the pokemon boost pack is a reggie ice i will absolutely always take a legendary definitely the three best cards we've gotten so far have been that Granbull, giratina reggie ice i think we got a couple supporter cards i was a huge fan of that larvitar in there as well we'll do one more pokemon boost pack and we might open up something kind of fun so just something kind of extra um, that i picked up so let's go ahead and take a look at this lost thunder pokemon boost pack i would take a rainbow rare rainbow rare Alolan Ninetales GX Blacephalon. I'm going to go ahead and even set the code out of the side. I don't know what it is. We'll go ahead and take a look at this last Pokemon Booster Pack. We might open up one more other thing too as well far from the back. And we'll see what we get in here. We kick things off with an Electric Type Energy. Next we have the, another Vespaquin. We have another. I'm having Deja Vu. Wasn't the first one we did almost exactly like this? That's that's a little weird. Wow. That's actually really that, literally almost identical. Mina. Alolan Duck Trio, there we go. The, the first four cards, I think, were like identical to the first booster pack we opened up. Uh, Glitch in the Matrix. Uh, Ninkata. We have an Eevee. We have a Hoppip. I will have to take another one of these little guys. We have a Pack and Peck. I think I see a Prism Star card starting to pick out, uh, peek out of there. We have a Durant. We have a Heat Factory. I think this is one of the only um, Prism Star cards from the expansion that I didn't have. Not a bad pull at all. And we have a Wigglytuff. So kind of some mi mixed pulls over there. But, you know, my motto with Booster Packs 
is this i've said i think i said this in today's video there are no bad booster packs there are just better pokemon booster packs we have one other kind of more fun thing to open up i wasn't sure if i was going to open it up so i'm fortunate enough where i actually get to play pokemon at one of the places that i kind of do a little bit of teaching at um so i bring in different decks and things for them to try out to teach them mechanics and stuff i've been wanting to buy this battle arena deck because it's just got some really great cards in it so we're gonna go ahead and take we're gonna go ahead and take a peek i'm gonna actually open this up off screen um because I have to get through some packaging, so you're going to see me struggle trying to just get packaging. And actually, I think, yeah, these little battle arena decks are actually pretty sweet, though. They have a lot of great staples, especially if you are running anything in standard format or just getting started. Um, yeah, here, we'll show it down on screen a little bit. I'm actually a huge fan of these. Usually, they include a little uh, alternate artworks, um, cool little placemats. I'll open all this up and stuff and show all that as well. Um, yeah, I like to, when I go, whenever I play at stores, I always like to, uh, all, all the Pokemon events I play at and stuff, they're at local trading card stores and small businesses, so I always like to, in, in addition to playing at the event and stuff, uh, I always like to try to buy something else just to support the store, support the place that I get to play Pokemon at. Um, so yeah, we got some fantastic, I think even these Blastoise and stuff are alternate artworks. Um, I don't know if they're alternate artworks or not, but they come with this, but the one that is an alternate artwork is this, del is this awesome looking del delinquent. This is, uh, I think one that's exclusive kind of like to this tin. We'll go ahead and take a look at through this deck. Like I said, it just comes with some fantastic staples. I think it comes with Sycamore and we'll take a look. We start out with some gorgeous looking uh, hollow foil energy cards. So even, even these hollow foil energy cards can go for like two bucks a pop. So if you just do the math right there, that is a fantastic deal. If I ever run a water type energy cards, any of these cards I can still take and form other decks with. So we got some awesome looking energy right here. We have Empoleon, Manaphy, Prinplup, Piplup, Octillery. Again, another, another one, like probably, I think I just painted like five dollars to three dollars to mail him a couple weeks ago i just figured this out now it came it comes with a freaking execute one of the like one of the best cards in expanded format honestly the one card that probably should be broken uh that is probably a little broken still in this format a rare candy remoray special energy skyla vs seeker ultra ball jesus just some fantastic cards reno Professor Sycamore Super Road. Yeah, I can't wait to try this deck out with some of the uh, some of the kiddos. This is the other one, the all, other alternate artwork they had for this. Um, this Professor's Letter is absolutely uh, is an absolutely fantastic looking card. Um, like I said, I'll set those two off to the side because that was kind of like the um, other thing people if, if you're. Uh, if you're a hardcore collector and you want to get this, I mean, obviously you might just buy for it online, but if you buy this one card, who knows, it could be five bucks from this. So, I mean, you know, just spend the 20 bucks to get the entire thing. Uh, Max Elixir, Lysander, Level Ball, Floatstone, Bridget, Verizian, Lapras, Jesus. Uh, two, there's two Executes in here. Easily, the money is worth it right there, just with the two Executes and the two Octillaries. Fantastic vibe. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I got to show it off a little bit. Um, kind of the two, the two special cards from this of course, you got them like the Mega Blastoise EX and those things, um, but the delinquent, uh, the de awesome looking delinquent in the professor's letter, um, just fantastic looking cards. Uh, that kind of opens up a lot of the merchandise from this. What else did I have here today? Um, there's the things I got from, here again is the first place, the uh, Zeb Strike Up. Like I said, not that big of a deal, but eh, pretty cool. I was happy I was able to pull that. Uh, who's here? I know left. It's a couple people watching now. Thanks for everyone who tuned in. Kind of the other cool thing I got, where'd the other dice go? Yeah, one of these two dice. This is a uh, Judge dice. This was the Portland. This was the Portland Regional dice. I was actually happy I was able to uh, get one of these again. Um, this was a kind of the, the orange one was used as a token to redeem for like side events and stuff. So that was kind of a cool thing to get. Um, I'm actually really happy with this black dice because I just had just lost my other professor's dice uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, I could show my actual deck. I showed it. I just showed it online, but I could show the actual physical cards of it. People are curious about that. Um, well, there was the, the little place map, but I don't really have to show that. This just folds out, teaches you how to play the game. It's cool, especially if you're if uh, a kid or something is just learning. Oh, there's the coin that comes with it. I'm a huge fan. I'm, I'm a sucker for these these little kind of things. Um, you know, all around me, right behind behind me, the set and everything kind of looks looks like clean and stuff. The floor, um, especially when I'm opening packaging and stuff, I just threw that down the floor, but that's okay. There's just Pokemon booster packs and wrapping all, all over my all over my little apartment area. Um, let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and maybe show my deck, do a couple more matches, 
it's one of those things with live streams the biggest thing i can't get over with live streams i'm just cleaning up just around here a little bit um is how quickly time goes by with live streams it's already been an hour and a half um Kokan was here for most of it i gotta play against arm tank 64 thank you guys so much for checking it out um i was gonna mention this too and i should mention it in tomorrow's booster pack opening if you want to shout i'm gonna do a video just i think i'm gonna do a video just of shout outs just as like people who's subscribers just people who've been super consistent with coming to check out my channel whether or not they like comment every single day there's a lot of people who just come by um just to like like the video or just to genuinely just watch it which i think is absolutely um yeah honestly it's heartwarming it's really cool uh let's see okay i could do one more thing i could just show my physical deck maybe we'll do another match or two uh just online see who sees online um yeah, definitely got a lot of plans going forward with this channel. Let's show my actual deck from today. I gotta kinda get to show you. I, I could show you also one other thing too. This was the actual deck that brought me brought me a lot of joy today. Um, it was the same deck I was just playing online a little bit ago with Coke and um, yeah, pretty straightforward. It's a not, nothing crazy. This list was like I said, uh, the one kind of cool card. I didn't even realize I was using it today. I, it was just the one. This is the uh, stamp card from uh, Anaheim Regionals. I actually didn't mean to use it because usually these uh, uh, championships cards, I mean, it's 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 legal to use it, uh, but they go for 15 to $20. So usually I just try to keep these in a little nicer condition, but it ended up in here. So it might just be the professor. I almost like sure I end up using um yeah these are i like the um ultra pro uh, protected sleeves i don't play with a lot of bling with my cards a lot of people try to go for the, all the four all full arts or whatnot um i just kind of play with what i got uh let's do let's do one one or two more matches see if we can get lucky we'll go for oh stop for sure at two hours if i can get through two matches pretty quickly um we'll go ahead and stop there i'm gonna go ahead and cut the screen just for a second while i'm moving around Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead. I wonder if any of my friends are online. Ratchet Persians online. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, this would be hilari hilarious. Let's do. Let's get my standard deck, and I loved. Um, this is another another good friend. I I don't get to see him as as often anymore. Let's see. Let's see if he's online, but he might be in the middle of a match. So I won't won't wait too long. I'm gonna wait only another like 30 seconds if he happens not to be online in another match, but this would be funny just to tell him you're on a live stream. Go ahead and find a normal match. Maybe I'll tell him another time. Um, it's kind of another thing I gotta remember too. I don't always have to like be talking all the entire time during the live stream that I actually can just like just play. Um, let's see, what else about Pokemon? I've been playing for about four years. I started I started when I was about halfway through my undergraduate. I needed a break. I needed to do something, find something that was a break away from like music and stuff. Um, uh, you probably, yeah, hence the name guitarist MB Gaming. I do play a variety of, like, instruments and stuff. Um, but I needed a break away, actually. I needed to find another hobby that was just something different. So that's how I ended up playing Pokemon. And, I mean, I've been playing the video game and stuff my entire life. Um, but it was just a really, uh, the little community down in the area I was at. Um, they had a really good little following, so I just kind of, I kind of showed up when I could, um... But really competitively, I really only got into it about two years ago. But by the time I like decided I was going to kind of jump the switch to play on the, on the more competitive side, um, I had already been playing online for a long time, so I had a uh, decent amount of cards and, uh, and physical cards, um, and just kind of learned the ins and out ins and outs of the game just little by little. Uh, and honestly, I think that's the way to go about it. Um, but some people just, and you know, I've, I've, you know, I've really on the short terms of things, I really only been playing for a little while, um, compared to some of my other friends who've been playing for like a decade or since the base set one. Um, oh, 
Let's see, I can't believe I've been going for an hour and a half now. That is fantastic. Decent live stream chat. I'm excited with everything. So nighttime. Nighttime might be the way to go about this. So I think, what is it? Seed Factory just pulled one of those. Oh, I know what he's doing. Um, this is actually a good list for me to play against because I actually did, I don't think I've played it with this list. I think it's Blacephalon. Um, yeah, it's got to be, right? Fire. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's Blacephalon. Okay, so I got to get set up super quick here. Hopefully these two cards, these two great balls have to... Uh, we'll start with the net ball. Uh, grab... Grab another hop. Oh, this great ball has to be a good great ball. Uh, not that good of a great ball. Ugh. There's two extremes of this deck. And that's the one risk you always, you know, you run running no tapu leles. You know, it just, you know, it ha it happens where. Um, you know, you run four, four Lilies, four Cynthia's, um, an extra rank rule. I guess I would put at ten. That would make things useful. Um, with that many cards in your hand, she's got to have something. Evolving into Nagandel, Nagandel, mysterious treasure. I mean, now that makes sense. Is it just like a pure? Oh, she could attach a DC from him. That's how she could get a knockout. Mysterious treasure. I need to set this back just a little bit. basic abilities. I don't, the only one that this guy really affects is Haranguru. I'm going to be completely relying on, interesting, I'm going to be 100% relying on the fact I just have to top deck then Cynthia, Cynthia or a Lily or something like that. Oh, that's fantastic. There we go. There's Blacephalon. Try to end things on a high note. I'll play with my Zorg GX list next. Now this is a tough matchup. Um, let's see. Uh, Jesus, <laughs> what, what can what can I do? What can I do? Well, you know, it's it's moments like this. You want to try to figure out what can you do. So I have my netball. I need to stall as much as long as I can. Hopefully she doesn't top deck Guzma or anything like that. I know she doesn't have, she can't play Lily if Muck is out here. So I just have to stall right now. And I think that's probably the best thing I can do. Um, nah, definitely not how my match, two other matches went before. Um, I don't think I played against a single Blacephalon today. I said every, every deck, Every deck will have its good matchups, its bad matchups, its good starts, its bad starts, and honestly, a lot of it just comes down to luck at the end of the day. One thing... Sophocles, Cephalon. So actually, if I don't top it, how she'll win, actually. If I don't top deck, I mean, I can stall a little bit longer, but it she doesn't go in for the other attack. She, cool. Oh, heartbreak. Um, okay, I, I don't like to fourth imagine, but like, especially even IRL, like, eh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. You have a good, 
you have a good deck. I'm not gonna keep stalling. Um, well, try to do Zork, maybe something a little bit speedier and things with. Um, like I said, I don't like forfeiting, and I, I, I probably wouldn't do that in real. Well, actually, if I was playing against Bocephalon list and I knew my list was breaking that hard, um, especially in a real life situation at a regional event, I would just like forfeit that match and go in round two. Um, but that was a bad start in hand. Let's go ahead and do one more. I, I get how. What is this list right now? Zork, Lycan Rock. Uh, I haven't I haven't test drive that enough yet. Let's do we'll go we'll end on expanded and that'll kinda be this will be the last match regardless of how this goes. Um hopefully something a little bit speedier. Um Yeah, for any of my buddies, I'm glad none of my matches went like that today. It just takes one lucky day, one lucky play against some lists. Um So this is this will kinda be like one of my last thoughts. So one of my ideas. So if I'm going to be focusing and I'm, I'm going to keep collecting Pokemon cards, honestly, one of the one of the huge issues I ran into with opening Pokemon cards every day, um, just even just the one Pokemon Beast Pack is how many cards it's like I've like I, I honestly have. I have so much bulk and so many other things. I just have to honestly thin out my collection. So I've thought about this. If I were to go just from even just base set X and Y all the way just through Sun and Moon, how hard would it be to try to literally collect every single card like have a binder full of every card from and there's a couple ones i could leave out like just every card from sun and moon from burning shadows from guardian rising just like a full playset because even like the basic ones and stuff i'm probably pretty close to full sets with all of those um and i wouldn't even have to go for the all the full arts if i just want to have a full playset so then not only not only could I try out the decks online, um, but then actually be able to try them out. Nah, actually, that's not bad. Um, try them out. Um, try them out in, in real life, and I think that'd be kind of a fun goal too. And then I could sell all my excess cards, knowing that I have every card that I need at that point. Um, so it might be something I, I might literally try to do, and especially when the next regional rolls around. I just have to. I just really need to uh, start turning around even more prof from my cards, um, from my uh, from my excess cards. Um, it'd be unlikely I could get a turn one. Um, it's not impossible, but it's pretty unlikely I can get this turn one win. But we'll go ahead, trade, trade this Guzma. Like I said, this person they just they just bricked really hard this turn as well. Um, that's that's the funny thing with this this game and just it doesn't matter I've, I've talked to this about good players bad players um some days are just better some matches are just better than others it's nice when things can line up but it really just depends on the day i think the biggest thing still is for me um running this channel uh playing pokemon going to the events the day i'm not having fun and this really means for anyone else too who's like playing competitively if I'm genuinely not enjoying myself at that with the activity, that is when I should either take a break or do something else. Because if I'm not having fun with it, then then why do it? Then literally, literally there's no there's no reason to do something you don't want to do. Um, that's when it turns into work, and this is absolutely fun. Whether or not I win or lose, I honestly don't. I honestly don't give a crap about that. I'm here. I love Pokemon. I've loved Pokemon my entire life. It's brought me. It's literally brought me to new places, new friends, um, and it's just it's weirdly fun um we could trade once we'll trade via seeker maybe i don't have to play that sick more um i need to switch that back to cynthia i, I decided to try to be a little gutsy and use a sycamore um that's not bad though uh discard those two things let's go ahead we could grab shaman um no tapu lele bridget that whole thing and then maybe Yeah, can finally Tapu Lele, Bridget. Uh, um, yeah, this is beauty match. Yeah, what was this list? What time is it? It's already 11, 11.30, wow. Yeah, I got back pretty late. So we have today's last match. Um. Yeah, but kind of got kind of got to talk about a lot of things. This was a good live stream. I'm excited for where this channel could go if I just put a little bit more time into it every day, trying new things. Who knows? Possibilities are endless. But yeah, I really mean that though. If, if as long as I'm having fun making my videos, making my videos, playing Pokemon, then then I don't really need anything else out of it. If I'm doing those those couple things, then it's gonna then it's all worth it. Alrighty. 
let's go ahead which and uh, which raikou is this and uh, this is the one yeah this is this is a cool one um tapu lele i could go for sikkim for the other sycamore in there oh i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for call <laughs> i'm gonna go for an extremely fantastic card call which was never, never meant, even even just a couple expansions back. It's so crazy to think. Call Res was never meant to be designed like, it, it was meant to be used like in combination to get you a lot of cards, but man, that's like, that's half my deck right there. It's a fantastic, I, I don't think I have the knockout though. Uh, I can trade a little bit, I can trade once. Let's trade a Sorolla. Trade a Sorolla a little too late with that my cargo. Um, one turn we can do something let's roll all those things uh, i wish we had we can attach energy though might as well i'll attach assuming if this guy were to get knocked out trebish a little trebish i would want him to ditto to evolve into guard border let's not forget to stack my deck while we're at it either um let's put a dc there I really wanted to get some views. What I should try to do, it'd be kind of cool actually, even if I got, if I started doing pack battles against even just some slightly bigger channels, like ones within that 1,000 subscriber to 2,000 subscriber range, if I could like play against some like bigger streamers and something, um, that would help as well. Honestly, it just takes time and effort. That's the big, that's honestly the biggest thing. I should just not be lazy. Um, and it's not that I'm late. I'm actually, uh, honestly, it just comes to work, studying. Like I said, I'm a musician outside of this and stuff. So that takes up a lot. Of, actually, um, those of you, a lot of people I know this, all the background music on my channel is music that's created by me. And I need to make actually a lot more backing tracks. Um, yeah, but that's something, that's something pretty unique about my channel, I think. What are we on now? 20, 40, 60, 60, 110. Choice band could get up to three damage count on one of your opponents. There's just so um Thunderlance, we're gonna use VS Seeker, Ace Rolla, heal him up. For that, we'll go ahead we'll grab another DC, I guess, another Zork, I guess. Yeah, we can do a little switcheroo sort of thing. Ace Rolla, heal him up. Evolve another one of them. Bada bing, bada boo. Ace Arola, let's not waste this trade. Great time to trade. Let's trade away a Bridget. We'll evolve. Heal up that Zork. Put this one in. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, how much is it? 20 for each, right? How many does he have on there? 20, 40, 60. So it reduces it by 60. I think I can still knock it out with the 180. Yeah, I think it's still exactly 120. Is reduced by 20 if this Pokemon has any, any damage. This Pokemon is reduced 20, I think so. Can't remember if it's for each or for just the other one. Let's find out. Boom. Feeling pretty good about this match. Uh, 160 is just for the one. Hey, PDX Pack Ripper. That's uh, someone else someone should go subscribe to for other people. Hello. Okay, so that was the last match. I could have, I almost want to do one more, but you know what? I want to end things on a good note with a win. At that, I think I got to talk about a lot of great things on this live stream. We got to open up cards. We got to go through my decks. I got to talk about it. I got to play against some of my subscribers. Always a good time to do that. Um, been winning? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I won today, so that's been good. Um, we're just wrapping up a live stream right now, PDX Pack Ripper. You should go, uh, if you're into sport cards and other things, you go should go check out that guy's channel because he's a pretty cool, pretty cool fella as well. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so it was fun. We did some online matches, PD, uh, PDX, um, some online matches, some booster pack openings, played against some subscribers. Um, 
yeah, just and just kind of talk uh, talked about just kind of things that have been going on. Fellow trainers, I hope you've been having a fantastic day wherever you are. It is already kind of getting on the later side of things. Um, yeah, I'm, I really just want to get in the habit of doing this a lot more often. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for the interaction from people. People who checked it out, Arm, Arma Tank 64 Cocan, Alex, you guys are the best. Um, I'm going to do this more often. I think nighttime, honestly, is probably the better way to go. Uh, I'd love to get in the habit of doing it in the morning, but it just comes down to motivation and time, and mostly time. Um, I'm motivated to do things, but I just ran out of hours in the day. Bell trainers, as always, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, or if you're watching this at a later time. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I think that's all I think that's all I got to do. Fellow trainers, have a great day wherever you are, and what I always say, I will see you tomorrow as always.